Uh, still as uh, Freeman Seven members. The other time we looked at something, but today we need to be systematic and everyone goes to school because he knows or he needs uh, to get something out of school. But why do we learn science? That's the first question. Candidates and same candidates, all the primary students who are there at home, why do we learn science? Uh, we always learn science to see that we put the normal situation in a practical way. This topic which I'm going to look at is covering our candidates for primary seven. Primary seven candidates are the ones uh, we are dealing with to see that something can move on very well. So the seven, there is a topic, it's like our second topic in the term. The topic which we call electricity and magnetism. The topic is electricity electricity and magnetism. But at first I'll first explain to you these terms like electricity. Electricity simply means the form of energy, the form of energy produced by the flow of electrons. So the form of energy produced by the flow of electrons is what we call electricity. And when you look at magnetism, magnetism is a property of a magnet that enables it to attract other magnetic substances is what we call magnetism but in this topic uh, which new ones are we going to find in this topic call them the new ones or we call them the vocabulary the new vocabulary you're going to find let us look at the vocabulary in this topic we look at the vocabulary vocabulary which we mean the new words which we are going to meet in this topic which new words are we going to meet the first new word we are going to meet here is called electricity the first new one is called electricity as i've explained you the form of energy that is produced by the flow of electrons is what we call electricity another new one or another vocabulary we are going to find here is the circuit the circuit is another vocabulary we are going to find other vocabularies like insulator other vocabularies like insulator other vocabulary like dynamo we have other vocabulary like device these are new terms which you are going to find I have like the fuse vocabulary like the fuse like the ometer uh, they are very many switch uh, these ones switch what what and another vocabulary which you might find like the magnet Uh, when you look at these new terms, in the process of our topic, uh, which we call electricity and magnetism, uh, you will find that these new ones are going to be there. Uh, like electricity, you will find uh, the new ones like the circuit, you will find the words like insulator, dynamo, device, fuse, ometer, switch, and magnet. But we shall go one by one. When we meet those words, we shall see what these new words mean. A circuit, uh, for to tell you something small, is just a path through which electricity flows is the complete path of electricity is what we call a circuit then is later these are materials or uh, these are materials or is a, a, a substance which does not allow electricity to pass through it then a dynamo a dynamo is a device 
uh, this device it changes a uh, mechanical in form of kinetic to electric energy so this one is a device used in a bicycle then you find inside this dynamo we shall look at it very well and you find that inside of it there is what we call the electromagnet you shall also know what the electromagnet is then we have a device this a device there are instruments which i used to do to cut out some work uh, the devices the instruments the tools that can do work that can simplify work i uh, have a fuse a fuse is a device a fuse is a device uh, and a fuse is a tool on electric circuit that breaks the circuit in for in case there is too much flow of electricity a fuse uh, is a device on a circuit a fuse is a device on a circuit that changes a fuse is a device on a circuit that breaks the circuit in case there is too much flow of current then we have an ohmmeter an ohmmeter is also the part of electric circuit that used to measure electric resistance then you have a switch a switch breaks the circuit breaks and completes the circuit under user's wish then you have a magnet this magnet is very uh is a piece of metal that uh attracts other magnetic substances so i've just tried to explain to you something small about this new vocabulary but our interest today we are going to look at electricity uh dear blood students i know some of the teachers are finished to teach this topic but what is electricity i told you that electricity is a form of energy uh, produced by the flow of electrons a form of energy produced by the flow of electrons and electrons are the smallest particles of an atom so uh, so electrons are the negatively charged particles so when you look at this one uh, electricity is the form of energy yeah? electricity is the form electricity is the form of energy produced by the flow of electrons is the form of energy produced by the flow of electrons and electricity is a form of energy because it enables man to do work electricity is a form of energy because it enables uh, human beings to do work uh, electrons are the smallest particle of an atom not not you must know something about electrons electrons are the smallest particles smallest particles of an atom and he said our electrons are the negatively charged particles uh, while protons are the positively charged particles electrons electrons are the negatively charged particles electrons are the negatively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles when we are talking about them that electrons are the negatively charged particles uh, after looking at them let us look at the sources of electricity we need to look at sources 
or electricity. I will need to look at the sources of electricity. Are the bodies that produce electricity, we call them sources of electricity. And the first source we have cells. Uh, one, we have cells. For example, dry cells, wet cells, and so on. Then we have what we call the fast flowing water. We have fast flowing water. We have fast flowing water. Then another, apart from the fast flowing water, apart from that we have the sun. The sun. We have fossil fuels with very many others. We say extra, ETC. They are very many. Let us look at the electric cells. We have talked about cells. Now let us look at electric cells. Let us look at the electric cells. When someone talks about electric cells, what is that person meaning? And uh, simply, when we talk about electric cells, uh, we only talk about the cells that produce electricity. Uh, types of cells, types of cells, uh, types of cells, we said about electric cells, and types of cells, one, we have primary cells. Number one, we have primary cells. Primary cells. Uh, when we talk about primary cells, these are electric cells. These are electric cells. Which cannot be recharged. which cannot be recharged once used up. These are electric cells which cannot be recharged once used up. Is what we call the primary cells. And examples of primary cells, examples of primary cells examples of primary cells we have dry cells and we have wet cells we call them wet cells or we call them dry uh, we call them wet cells sometimes we call them the simple cells. They are called wet cells or simple cells. Wet cells in bracket, simple cells. So when we look at these ones here, as you see that we have looked at all electrons and the smallest particles of the atom, our particles, uh, this is L, E, S. And say that here electrons are the negatively charged particles of an atom, then the, uh, the positive charges are what you call the uh, protons. Uh, when you look at those ones, uh, we say that the, uh, these are electric cells which cannot be recharged once used up. But again, when we talk about number two, we shall talk about the secondary cells. I was talking about uh, examples of primary cells like the dry cells and a wet cell. Uh, this is what we call the dry cell. Uh, this was what you use in radios are the dry cells. Once you get a new dry cell and you use it, when the electrolyte which is here gets 
the chemical energy, you know, in a dry cell, there's what we call the chemical energy inside, which is stored here, is the one that changes into electric energy. To prove that it's electricity, you connect the wire here and here, then you put on electric valve. So there you can just know, you see the electric bulb giving light. But if it is not there, you won't find anything taking place. So this is a dry cell, is an example of a primary cell. When it's not, uh, when you use it and it gets used up, exhausted, even if when you start charging it, you cannot do anything. That's why you call it a primary cell cannot be recharged once used up this dry cell. And we look at the sources of electricity, it's also a source of electricity because it produces uh, electric energy, but it stores chemical energy. So the form of energy stored in a dry cell is the chemical energy. Secondary so cells, when you ask us, these are cells which can be recharged once used up. and Examples of these secondary cells, we have lead batteries, the solar cells, solar cells which are found in the solar panel in your big buildings, are what we call the solar cells. So when they ask you, give the two types of uh, electric cells, we have the primary cells, then we have the electrics, uh, we have the secondary cells. When you ask us about the primary cells, we talk about the dry cell and our wet cell. We shall look at one by one. A dry cell, I told you I repeat, is a primary cell because it cannot be recharged once used up. And this one, inside a dry cell, something brief, it stores the chemical energy. But what form of energy does it produce? It produces electric energy. When they say, as you're going on to describe the energy changes that take place in a dry cell, uh, we shall see slowly by slowly as it goes on. Then secondary cells, after all, these are cells that can be recharged once used up. And examples of secondary cells, I told you look at the need batteries, then uh, the solar cells. Very many people have solar panels in your, on your buildings. Inside the solar panels, there is a group of solar cells. And a group of solar cells, we call it the solar batteries. A group of solar cells, we call it the solar batteries. So I say it is uh, all about electricity in primary seven. Uh, when we come back another day after paying this maximum attention, we shall look at the dry cell and a wet cell as the primary cells. Or oh, then we shall start with the uh, examples of the secondary cells. We look at the dry cell and its parts. I uh, thank you for watching and take care of yourself. I love you, students.